Hello, my name is Esther Wong, and I have been diagnosed with cancer of the back. This is my true story. You think you know, but you have no idea. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, on our documentary, we have cancer-ridden Esther Wong facing serious side effects of cancer. We're here today at Carlsbad Hospital to talk to Esther after a round of chemotherapy. She is weak, but we're here with her nurse and herself in her own hospital bed. Hi, Esther. Oh, hello. Just a second, nurse. This is Esther's nurse, Nurse Betty, who's been with her for how long, dear? How long have you been taking care of her? Three years now. Here's your medication. <laughs> Esther, how long have you had your cancer and found out about it? I've had this cancer off the back for about three days now. How was it when you found out? I was watching television and I got a bad ache. What did that ache feel like? It felt exactly like cancer of the back. So Esther, what is your normal everyday life activity like now that you spend all of your time at the hospital? I mostly spend my time grooming my unicorn's mane. <laughs> it's sad, really. So Esther, how old are you? I don't really know. I've had cancer of the back for three days. It's been so long. I just lost. I lost track of time. It's okay. Now, we at, at HGP, um, my network, we heard about your remarkable story. Um, your, your discovery of the cancer and your, your plight this past half of a week um, has really been remarkable. And as you know, You've done many interviews for the Today Show, Good Morning America, um, lots of documentaries. And um, how are you dealing with all of this, you know, projected fame about, you know, something so tragic? Well, my unicorn, Paulina, she listens very well. My grandmother gave her to me the day I found out. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. I just talked to her. That's how I get by. So sweet. We'll be right back for a commercial break. Stay tuned. We're back from our commercial break. I'm Haley Rowan. We're doing a do documentary on this remarkable young lady who has found out that she has cancer of the back. <coughs> Esther here has a very rare, rare disease. Um, doctors do not know how to treat this right, as I'm correct. Yeah, are you the the first person to experience this, this? I think so. Um, now how did they diagnose this as cancer of the back? Are there cancer cells among your, your muscle in your back or among your spine or? <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. A lot of people displace their emotions on humor when really they're deeply sad inside. Um, I think we should take an emotional break right now. I understand that we just came back from commercial break, but this is live. So um, we'll cut to a commercial break, and we'll be right back with Esther's daily routine. Back from our break, um, Esther here's getting ready for her daily routine of taking a shower. Um, we're going to accompany Esther to the bathroom and see how she is along taking normal tasks into her own cancerous hands. Well. As you can see, she has fallen, but at this point in her back cancer, doctors, although not knowing much, have projected that she does not feel any any physical pain to herself. So essentially at this point, you could throw her down the stairs and she would be okay. The only thing that um, doctors have deemed truly dangerous is the, the next activity that we are doing, which is... Um, bathing water can actually soak through her back muscles and um, essentially kill her within about two seconds. So we're going to walk to the bathroom now with her cute little bathing suit. And we're going to really just go through the daily life 
of Esther 1. We're here with Esther doing daily activity. So uh, right now we're going to get Esther in the bathtub and fill it up with a little bit of water and she's going to go through her daily bathing routine. So here we go. Let's get in. Esther! Esther! Jeez. 